The Gonzaga Bulldogs are entering this year's NCAA tournament as the number one overall seed. The Zags will try to finish the season undefeated, which would be the first time since 76. Bob Knight's Indiana Hoosiers. On that note, we welcome in Gonzaga head coach Mark Few. Coach Few, thank you so much for being with us, um, and huge congrats. I know, I know you don't want to hear the congrats yet. The party's just about to get started. We're all excited for the tournament, but uh, thank you so much for being with us this morning. And I got to ask you this, you know, on the show, we're making our picks. We had Dickie V here, Stephen A. Max, all picked your team to win it all. How do you keep this squad kind of focused on the moment, game by game, and, and not getting ahead of themselves? Uh, well, first of all, thanks for having me on. And as I said off air, big uh, fan of the show. The few family wakes up to it every morning. So, uh, uh, Love it. listen, it's been really easy keeping this group grounded. They're not caught up in all the undefeated stuff. They're not caught up in the national championship or bust. They're they're a they're a very focused. You know, what's the next task at hand? Uh, a group. And uh, highly, highly, highly uh, competitive. And I think that's been a huge part of, the, of our uh, success this year. Coach, um, this century has seen um, the Zags go from, you know, a mid-major program, whatever, to a powerhouse uh, year in and year out. And you've been there the whole time. What is the key? Like, how does something like that happen since you've seen the entire evolution and are obviously largely responsible for it? Gosh, Max, I'd, I'd say the biggest uh, thing is just continuity. And, and I've had the same athletic director the entire time uh, I've been at Gonzaga, and he's been a partner uh, with me uh, through this time. I, I've, my staff has changed over a little bit, but, you know, it stayed relatively the, the same. Uh, and then just a kind of a, a, a cooperative, collective effort of growth, of never being happy where we're at and, and, and the school and, and everybody's uh, been involved with that all the way up to the, the, the board of, of trustees and, and heck, even the, the community, uh, Spokane and the whole kind of state of Washington has, has, uh, has grown with us as this, uh, as Gonzaga's kind of, you know, blossomed into this uh, uh, entity that where we're at right now. Coach, thanks for joining us. So the, um, the coronavirus has impacted everyone's season and, and really opened our eyes to a lot of things. And I think the professionalism of college athletics has been kind of obvious with the way that we're making sure that the players participate. So I was wondering if this season has changed the way you view player compensation in any way. I don't know if it's changed. I've kind of always been for <laughs> player compensation. I'm all for uh, 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 guys, you know, being able to earn whatever they can as long as it's, you know, it's a tricky thing, you know, not getting boosters and people like that involved. You know, if there were, I think we're still wrestling with that as we move forward with this NIL legislation, which is coming down the pipes here very shortly. But uh, I, I, I would just say this, during this entire year, I am just constantly amazed at the, the resiliency, the drive, the uh, just the love of the game that all the players have shown to put up with all the challenges that, you know, the, the virus protocols and everything have brought uh, to all of us. And, and uh, it, it's just amazing to me the, the, the grace and, and class. And, and uh, I just marvel at our guys, you know. I mean, we're changing things today with our schedule and how we're moving around in this bubble. I mean, this is a pretty restrictive uh, uh, thing we're in right now, but the guys got big smiles on their face and are so fired up just to, just to play hoops. And I, and I know and I can say this, and I think you guys feel the same way. It's just such a awesome, awesome feeling and blessing to finally get to this NCAA tournament and, and, and get it going again after we didn't have it last year. No question. I'm so excited. Just so it feels like a sense of normalcy to kind of have that back to root for our teams, all of that. And coach, you said that the few family uh, pays attention to first take in the Rose family. We pay attention to Jalen's. Um, we've got big egos in this household. So we pay attention to all the Jalen's and that would be Jalen. And I'm not lying. Um, the <laughs> special attention to guys like Jalen Suggs and the impact that he's had on your squad as a freshman. Talk to me about that 
Well, what is it about Jalen's, man? I'm telling you what. I mean, they they are something. <laughs> <laughs> they, uh, no, hey, he has been just such a godsend. And, and, and I'll tell you, uh, he has been the most coachable uh player I think as high a level that I've ever been associated with he just yearns for uh, coaching he yearns for you know help in 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 development and he's just been an incredible humble uh, teammate uh, from day one and and such a ferocious uh, uh, competitor that I think our guys just Mm -hmm. you know they all fell in love with him from day one and, and and I'd be remiss to not under or at least acknowledge the effect, and I think Jalen would definitely tell you this, the fact Corey Kispert and Joel Ayayi uh, have had uh, with him, uh, just their experience of going through all this, and, and he's really leaned on them a lot uh, mm-hmm. during these this year, and uh, he's just an absolute uh, uh, joy to be around. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.